George Kittle broke out last season as a top tight end in the league. He broke the NFL record for yards by a tight end in a season with 1,377 and made the Pro Bowl in his dominant sophomore season with the 49ers. Kittle has been a huge success in the league, but back in the 2017 NFL Draft, he wasn't taken until the 146th pick in the 5th round. Today, we're going to talk about the 8 tight ends taken before Kittle and how their careers are going so far. If you plan on going to any events coming up, make sure you use SeatGeek to purchase your tickets. SeatGeek makes ticket buying easy by giving you a 1-10 score and even gives you a view of your seat. You can use our code JDP at checkout to get $20 off your first purchase. Again, make sure to use SeatGeek when buying tickets and use code JDP at checkout for $20 off your first purchase. Let's get right back to the video. Before we jump into those taken before Kittle, let's look at how he's gotten to where he is today. Kittle bounced around to three different high schools before committing to Iowa, where his father played. Kittle played a limited role at Iowa in his freshman and sophomore seasons. He played in just six games in the two years and had six receptions for 133 yards. Kittle finally found himself in an increased role as a junior and played in 10 games, scoring six touchdowns and racking up 290 yards. In his senior campaign, Kittle had 314 yards and four touchdowns. In the draft, he was expected to go in the third or fourth round. As a rookie for the 49ers, Kittle beat out competition for the starting job. He missed one game due to injury and racked up 515 yards and two touchdowns on 43 receptions in a pretty impressive rookie year. The following season, Kittle broke out as a top tight end in the league. He made the Pro Bowl and broke the record for most yards in a season by a tight end with 1,377. He had 88 receptions and scored five touchdowns. The first tight end to be taken in the 2017 NFL Draft was O.J. Howard out of Alabama, who was selected by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the 19th pick. Howard was a monster at Alabama, but was often underutilized. As a senior, he had 595 yards and three touchdowns for Alabama, who lost to Clemson in the national championship. Howard was projected to go in the first round of the draft and was the clear top tight end. So far in his career, he has played alongside veteran tight end Cameron Brait in his time with the Buccaneers. He played in 14 games as a rookie, but ultimately ended up on injured reserve. He had 432 yards and six touchdowns off of 26 receptions. Howard was expected to make a huge leap in his sophomore season, but due to foot and ankle injuries, he landed on injured reserve once again. In 10 games played, he had 565 yards and 5 touchdowns on 34 receptions. Howard is an athletic beast and has been good when he's on the field. If he can stay healthy, he might just make a huge jump in his young career, and he could end up being a top tight end in the league in the near future. Ole Miss tight end Evan Ingram went to the New York Giants with the 23rd pick. Ingram went into the draft after a 926-yard, 8-touchdown senior season. He was expected to go in the first or the second round of the draft. Ingram made an immediate impact for the Giants and played in 15 games, missing the final game of the year with a rib injury. He racked up 722 yards and 6 touchdowns off of 64 receptions in a breakout rookie year. Ingram missed 6 games in 2018 due to injury, but still put up good numbers when he was active. He had 45 receptions for 577 yards and 3 touchdowns. Ingram is a bright spot on a really bad team in the Giants. He has been great on the field and should have a bounce back year this season. He is the second best tight end in this class so far. With the 29th pick in the draft, the Cleveland Browns selected Miami tight end David Njoku. That's David Njoku from the real Miami, not the one in Ohio. Njoku broke out at Miami in his redshirt sophomore season when he had 698 yards and 8 touchdowns. He forewent his final two years of eligibility and declared for the draft where he was taken in the first round by the Browns. Njoku has played in all 32 games so far in his career. As a rookie, he had 32 receptions and 386 yards and 4 touchdowns as he started in 5 games. The following year with rookie quarterback Baker Mayfield, he saw huge improvements as he started in 14 games. He finished the year with 639 yards and 4 touchdowns on 56 receptions. And Joku is a solid tight end who should be a reliable weapon for Baker and the Browns for years to come. In the second round, the Los Angeles Rams took Gerald Everett from South Alabama with the 44th pick. Everett had quite the journey to the NFL and started his collegiate career at Hutchinson Community College. He ended up transferring to the University of Alabama at Birmingham for a year before they ended up shutting down their football program. He transferred to South Alabama where all the pieces finally fell right for Everett. He had a solid junior year and followed it up with a 717 yard, 4 touchdown senior season. Everett was expected to go in the second or third round of the draft. He has started in just two games in his career with the Rams, both of which coming in his rookie campaign. He finished the season with 244 yards and two touchdowns. In 2018, Everett had 320 yards and three touchdowns. Everett hasn't been a beast for the Rams, but he also hasn't been awful. One pick after Everett, the Chicago Bears selected Adam Shaheen. Shaheen came out of Ashland, a Division II school. Shaheen first attended Pittsburgh at Johnson where he played basketball. He transferred to Ashland and walked into the football team. 
In his career at Ashland, he had 1,755 yards and 26 touchdowns. He forewent his senior year for the draft. He was widely unknown coming out of Division II school, but after workouts and drills, he was expected to go in the second round. Shaheen played in 13 games as a rookie third string and had 127 yards and 3 touchdowns on 12 receptions. Shaheen actually won the job in camp and was supposed to be the starter for the Bears in 2018 but in preseason he suffered a sprained ankle and foot and was put on injured reserve. He ended up playing in 6 games at the end of the season and had 48 yards and a touchdown off of 5 receptions. Shaheen hasn't been successful but a lot is due to injury at this point in his career. He has a giant mystery in every sense and I'm interested to see how his career continues to progress. 100th overall in the third round, the Tennessee Titans selected Jonu Smith out of Florida International. In four years at Florida International, Smith had 2,001 yards and 18 touchdowns. Smith was projected to be taken in the fourth or the fifth round. In his rookie season, Smith was the second string tight end behind veteran Delaney Walker. He played in all 16 games with 18 receptions for 157 yards and two touchdowns. Smith unfortunately suffered a torn MCL in the playoffs. The following year, he was expected to back up Walker again, but Walker went down with a dislocated ankle. He played in 13 games in 2018 before suffering from an MCL injury that ended his season. Smith finished with 258 yards and 3 touchdowns on 20 receptions. Smith clearly has an MCL injury, but that's not what's concerning about his game. When he's on the field, he just hasn't been that good. Walker will return this year and take back his job, and I don't think Smith is going to see himself as a starter for a long time. Michael Roberts out of Toledo was taken with the 127th pick in the 4th round. Roberts hasn't been good in the league and has found himself without a team after just 2 seasons. The final tight end taken prior to Kittle was Jake Butt who was selected with the 145th pick and Butt was expected to be a second round pick but tore his ACL in the Orange Bowl as a senior. The injury scared off a lot of teams and led him to drop career. Hopefully he can find a way to stay healthy and get back on track. Kittle has been a monster in his short time in the league and is already a top tight end. It's safe to say that Kittle would have flourished anywhere he was taken. He definitely hasn't benefited from playing under four different quarterbacks in his two years on a bad 49ers team. Kittle is a beast and is in the same conversation as Travis Kelsey and Zach Ertz as the league's best tight end. He's only been in the league for two years and I for one can't wait to see what he does next. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I would like to give a quick shout out to our two patrons. Weston Brown who is a member of our bronze tier and Jose Alciste Silva who is a member of our silver tier. We'll be dropping exclusive content and other videos early before appearing on YouTube. Check it out if you wish and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. My name is Jackson. And my name is Darren, and this is JD Productions. So if you don't already know what type of videos we make, we basically make videos revolving around sports. We eventually want to work to make this our full-time job, and we're working really hard currently to make great content for you guys. And if there's anything you can do to help us, please share this video. Tell your friends about it, tell your family about it. Make sure you go share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of those above, All you know, just media. go help us grow. We're just trying to grow this channel. We're trying to make better content, and we really appreciate it if you help get the word out about our channel. And if you guys want to help us out any more than you already have by sharing and watching this video, please go ahead and click that link down in the description for Patreon. If you guys don't know what a Patreon is, it helps us make better content for you guys. And that is strictly what it's for. We don't want to take your money. We don't want to steal your money. We just want to make better content for you guys. We're two broke college students, and we're just trying to make this our full-time gig. So if you have the generosity in your hearts to help us out a little bit more, please click the link down in the description. But again, if you don't have the money, don't worry about it. We don't have money either. <laughs> But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go share this video as much as you possibly can. Help us get our name out there. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.